Fluoridation Nation is pretty much to the point of being criminal. No, seriously. Where facts, realizations, and common sense outweigh the possibilities that this practice should continue. It tricked you too, council members, since you were children. But I will not let you off the hook of responsibility. How many times do you have to hear that the CDC warns not to use tap water, fluoridated water, in infant formula? For those that are under at least one year of age, even two. This is undeniable and irreversible, the effects of the little ones ingesting this. You haven't immediately put at least a warning on our bills to notify the citizens about fluoride in our small children. You have to have dozens of meetings or ask the water utility on how much it will cost to include something like that on a bill. Not even a small letterbox with some yellow behind it or anything. That is where being off the hook comes in. When it becomes known more and more about just the subject of infants themselves <coughs> from the CDC, and they all knew this for quite some time and did nothing, that's where your responsibility of allowing this crime to continue without so much as a small warning to us will be on your hands. Look at our foods, overprocessed, overcooked, dead, no useful enzymes, preservatives, chemicals, dyes. 15,000 or more people died from pharmaceutical drugs a couple years ago. Three million in over two decades. Okay by the government, FDA, this is the norm. But other remedies and anti-sufferings are illegal, demonized, ignored, they're unpatentable. No money or monopolies can be made by these companies. So they actually make stuff that kills people. More dangerous than street drugs combined. But it's the norm. Big government and bank takeover where billions of dollars just flew around and went wherever they went in pockets, bonuses. And we know this, that really happened. It's okay, it's the norm. And life, you do, you do, just goes on. My point, these are the same people and ideas that sell fluoride to the populace. Something we know that is never and was not completely good or right or healthy to a human. But it's the norm. It's the norm to be allowed to be tricked and forced to consume whatever the large money makers are putting out. Because it's all about the money and control. Am I right? I think you better believe it. I really don't want to be angry or frustrated to y'all over this. But these clearly obvious inactions, these non-existing initiatives, fuels that. But don't you get it? Is everyone just dead inside? Up there, out there. Is this whole damn country a bunch of puppets? Because ultimately, when people find out and realize this, and, and realize that y'all knew all along, and did nothing, at least something. Thank you, Mr. Boyd. Oh, boy. Hey, Mr. Spark. No questions or anything towards me? Next speaker is...